Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Crate, and we're working on page four and five of Warm Wishes, page four and five. So I went ahead and constructed page five, um, and we'll build page four together. They are just mirror images of each other. So we've got two flaps, and they're going to get adhered to the outside edge of both page four and five. So I just wanted to show you how I attach these before we actually build it together. So the larger of the two flaps is going to get adhered directly to the small flap, and then the small flap gets um, applied to the pocket page. I know it's a little bit confusing when you hear it, but when you see it, it'll make sense. Okay, so here's our smaller flap. And normally, um, you would uh, apply a flap to a flap, but then you get these two hinges on the outside edge. So to make that a little bit cleaner, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over the larger flap and apply it to the inside of the smaller flap. And it will be... I actually had to do this twice, and that's why you see some extra tape here. Um, you're going to apply this to the inside. Um, and if you're working on page four, it's going to be to the left of the, the hinge. Like so. Okay, so we've applied the larger flap to the inside of the smaller flap. And now we're going to apply the small flap here. Now you didn't need tape on both sides. That just happened because I made a mistake um, earlier and I wanted to salvage my paper. Okay, <clears throat> the flap was the wrong size. Okay, this is gonna go to uh, the outside edge, which doesn't matter. You could turn it either way. It matters more when you're actually putting it in the book. Um, there we go. Okay, so now we've got our left and our right. So again, it's the same process, and you could even build them exactly the same, but then when you go to put them in the book, turn them right side up. And also, when you go to decorate them, turn them right side up. Okay, so that's it for now. I'll be back shortly, and we'll start decorating. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put two, mag two sets of magnets down or if I'm going to use, um, I was thinking about using um, a decorative ephemera card to hold everything in place. So if we use the ephemera card, then we're gonna add one more flap to um, the spine edge. Back in a minute. Hey everyone, it's, I'm back and I've got my papers, uh, half of my papers mapped out, at least the A sides. So I did decide to add an additional flap, so we're gonna do that really quick. This is um, four and one eighth by six and five eighths, and it's basically based on the size of the ephemera card that I'm uh, that I'm using. If you're not using this collection, or if you're just decided that you don't like the ephemera and want to use something else, you can modify this. the The purpose of this is to house the magnet um, here, and all you need to do is make sure that your flap will reach. Um, or this element reaches across to the small flap. So I wanted to show you what it looked like um, with everything down, and this is page five, and this is page four, and we'll do this together. So we are going to uh, start by adding this flap. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> once that's in, we will add um, our magnets. Okay, so I am centering it based on the location on the opposing page. So that's pretty straightforward. Just gonna line these two things up and then press it into place. Oops, I went off to the side a little. There we go, straight out. Okay, so we're ready to add our magnets. So we're going to place a magnet on this flap and this one. <clears throat> I'm going to cover that with some tape. If you have sticky on the other side, it's not necessary. 
Um, I build so many books, I kind of go cheap on my magnets. I don't recommend it. Um, the basic gray magnets are superior to the ones that I get in bulk. Um, they're just stronger. And then um, in addition, you don't have, I mean, you have adhesive on one side. So you, you can still glue these down, um, but it takes a long time for them to dry. And I don't have the patience. <clears throat> Okay, there we go. Let's get this decorated, get this out of the way. Okay, our top panel is going to be this red and it comes from the collection pack. And I think I've got everything inked, but you know, I've said that before. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to a retreat this weekend, I'm excited. Um, there's a local retreat house here in uh, San Diego, it's specifically in Lakeside, and I've not been there before. It's a very small uh, retreat house, so there's only eight crafters. So that's <clears throat> got to be about, that's the smallest one I've ever done, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. I think when it's small like that, you get to know the people there a lot better. Previous to that, the smallest one I'd done was 22 people, and that is even, um, you get to know people pretty well in that size. Uh, <clears throat> as compared to the hotel retreats, which, you know, can sometimes have, you know, over a hundred people. It's pretty hard to get to know people in that, in that, uh, big of a crowd. Anyway, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to go with my sister. That's the base. And we're getting ready. We are going to do, um, a craft show the first week of November at some of the the local wineries are having a big tasting event where in, in Ramona, which is part of San Diego County, um, there's, I don't know, 25, 30 wineries there. And they're um, getting several of those guys together doing this tasting. So there should be a nice group of people. And my sister and I are going to host a booth. If you're in San Diego, come on out. It's November 4th. Um, it's called Ramona Wine and Arts Festival. So there'll be several um, handcrafted um, booths there. And we're going to have kind of a, a blend. I'm going to have my books for sale, but we're also going to sell some apparel. Um, so yeah, so that'll be fun. So that's coming up November 4th. Again, Ramona Wine and Arts Festival, if you guys are in, the, in this neck of the woods. Come by and see me. Buy a book. Okay. And taste some wine. Should be fun. Okay, so this is the ephemera card that I chose to go here. The smooth. Okay. Like I said, I can't believe it, but I did get everything inked. So I'm going to take a quick break, get the B sites lined up, and then we'll be we'll have four and five in the can, as they say. <clears throat> it's not centered very well. There we go. So snow place like home. Okay, looks good. Um, uh, like I said, I'll be back. I'm going to use the same papers uh, on the left and right on um, page four and five because they're mirror images of each other. I'll get those picked up. We'll, we'll get back together in a few minutes and finish these two pages up. Be back soon. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to show you what I did on page five and then we're going to repeat that process for page four. Okay, so um, I chose this which is from the pattern collection the 12 by 12 i didn't mention that earlier this is also from the 12 by 12 patterns and solids uh patterns and solids let me double check yes and um this is also i think patterns and solids let me look at the flip side yes it is um and so of course they're all 12 by 12s this is the um collection here and then I use the same here. So you should be able to get uh, both pages done with one 12 by 12. Okay, I'm having a hard time today. I don't know why my words are not coming. Okay, so we'll go ahead and lay this down. We've got our magnet here. 
I need my hook tool, which was not filed correctly. It's in the wrong slot. Hi, sweetheart. Nala came in to see me. She likes to put her nose right under my elbow, <laughs> flick my arm to get my attention. It's getting getting to be that time. I'm not going to say the W A L K word. She'll go bonkers. If we go too early, we just run into too many dogs, and Nala doesn't know how to behave. Okay, as uh, you can see, this is a pattern in solid. There we go. And this is from the 12 by 12 collection as previously identified in page five. So this, these two pages have a lot of room for photos, right? This is an eight by eight mat, then this is a six by eight mat, and the other one is a four by eight mat. So lots of room, and then of course another four by six, which is the flap that holds it all together. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I like it. Very nice. I like the reds. They make me feel like holidays. So I think this turned out really well. That's it for page four and five. Be back soon with more.